Now to our consumer news this week, El Paso is getting the first nonprofit grocery store, Desert Spoon Food Hub, that will provide fresh produce and pantry staples to central El Paso. Our KTSM 9 News reporter, Tani Davis, spoke with the co-founders of the organization behind the store, and she's live in central El Paso. And Tani, what makes this grocery store different than others? Well, Carla, this area of El Paso is known as a food desert. While convenience stores are just minutes away, if anyone from this neighborhood wanted fresh produce, they would have to travel much farther. That's where a food desert spoon comes in, offering fresh items for those in the area. Nestled in a community that serves lower income families, those who walk through the door of Desert Spoon Food Hub will be welcomed with items that are not normally offered. We have fresh produce um, and then we also have pantry staples that come in and our produce changes weekly and seasonally so we do try to, because we work with local producers, um, those are constantly changing. The store will be accepting SNAP benefits and Double Up Food Bucks Texas, a healthy food incentive program to promote greater access to fresh fruits and vegetables. There will also be a program for kids to grow accustomed to healthier options. It has food items. There's four, four food items in there. There's a recipe and a craft, and they get exposed to it at an early age. Just trying to build that healthy relationship, friendly relationship with food. While this week is only the soft opening of Desert Spoon, the co-founders are hoping that this will make a big impact for the area. This is just one part of a larger picture that includes also um, education for children as well as our food box and it's just this is um, a really important pillar of food sustainability in the area. The first day of soft opening is tomorrow and doors will be open at 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. through Friday and on Saturday the doors will be open at 8 a.m. Reporting live from Central El Paso, Tawny Davis, KTSM 9 News.